Using the digits two through eight, find the number of different five digit numbers with the given conditions. Number one, the digits can be used more than once. Let's first list the digits from two through eight. We have two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Notice there are seven possible digits. So number one, the digits can be used more than once, which means repetition is allowed. So if we have a five digit number and repetition is allowed, notice there are seven choices for each digit and therefore there are seven times seven times seven times seven times seven or seven to the fifth possible five digit numbers where the digits must be two through eight and they can be repeated. And seven to the fifth is equal to 16,807. There are 16,807 possible five digit numbers using the digits two through eight when the digits can be used more than once. This is an example of the multiplicative or counting principle. Remember, a permutation and combination never allow items to be used more than once. Number two, the digits cannot be repeated, but can be in any order. And we know when we change the order of the digits, it does change the number, and therefore the order matters. And because repetition is not allowed, we can answer the question using a permutation. Because we are selecting five digits from seven, the number of five digit numbers that can be formed when the digits cannot be repeated, but can be in any order, is seven permute five. Seven permute five is equal to seven factorial divided by seven minus five factorial, which is equal to seven factorial divided by two factorial, which is equal to seven times six times five times four times three times two factorial, all divided by two factorial, Simplifying two factorial divided by itself simplifies the one, leaving us with seven times six times five times four times three, five digit numbers. Going to the calculator, whether we evaluate the simplified product or the permutation, notice how we have 2,520 five digit numbers. And of course, this is an example of a permutation because we don't have repetition and the order matters. Number three, the digits cannot be repeated and must be in increasing order. And to answer this question, we will have to choose five digits from the seven choices and then order the digits in increasing order. Or we can say we can form groups of five digits from the seven digits, and then once we form the group, we do have to order the digits in increasing order in order to form the five digit number. And therefore, the number of five digit numbers when the digits cannot be repeated and must be in increasing order, is seven choose five. Seven choose five is equal to seven factorial divided by the product of seven minus five factorial and five factorial. Simplifying, seven factorial is equal to seven times six times five factorial divided by, notice here we have two factorial, which is equal to two times one, and we'll leave five factorial as five factorial. Simplifying, five factorial divided by itself simplifies the one. Six and two share a common factor of two. There's one, two, and two, and three twos, and six. Simplifying, we have seven times three, which is 21. There are 21 possible five digit numbers when the digits cannot be repeated and the digits must be in increasing order. And of course, this is an example of a combination. Before we go, let's quickly verify this combination on the calculator. Of course, we know seven times three is 21. Let's make sure we get the same result by evaluating seven choose five. We'll click functions, combination, main, seven comma five, and we do get 21. I hope you found this helpful.